Hello, this is Dr. Bink. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to take a project folder and all of the associated files and subfolders and compress them so that you could submit the compressed file folder um, as one file in web study. So we just finished creating, or I just finished creating this picture viewer that you'll create as your first project assignment in uh, the first session. And I'm going to navigate down to Documents and I'm going to find my Visual Studio 2010 Projects folder. Now you're not going to have all these projects um, in your Projects folder. Chances are you might just have one, uh, the VB picture viewer. And if I were to click on that, you'll see the solution file. And if I click in the subfolder, you'll see all these other files that are associated with that particular project. Well, let's just go back to projects. Don't worry about that right now. In fact, you won't worry about that for the majority of this course. I'm going to right click on the VB picture viewer project folder. I'm going to select send to compressed zipped folder and it's going to create a compressed zip folder right here with the same name but you will see the icon is slightly different it has a zipper going up the middle of the icon that is the file that you will navigate to and select when you're uploading your assignment. Now don't do this until you're 100% complete or finished the program and it operates functions as it should and then you compress the top project folder with its name and you take that compressed file folder and you upload that and I will be able to uncompress that on my end and run your project I'll compile it run it and make sure that it runs as required thanks I hope this was uh, useful this will be available 24 7 365 you can come back and view it over and over and over again thanks again for watching take care